Hello and welcome to Dostoyevsky Reimagined Episode 2. So just to say, my purpose is to raise awareness of AM Productions' two films, Notes from the New World, and their newest, Dostoyevsky Reimagined, The Making of Notes from the New World. Dostoyevsky Reimagined is currently in post-production, but I've seen the one it's following on from, Notes from the New World. And like I said before, the film's about an actor who's preparing for a role in a play when he becomes entangled in murder and romance. And it's the romance aspect that I wanted to focus on today. So in Notes from the New World, Stephen falls for both Irina and Sonia. Irina is a prostitute who's been brought in to improvise a rehearse with him. Sonia's a more mysterious character who looks out for Stephen. Now, both these girls fancy Stephen, the lucky jammer, but they both represent different paths for him as well. Although Dostoevsky writes his underground man, Love is a holy mystery and not to be hidden from all other eyes, whatever happens. One can deduct that Sonia's the virtue to Irina's vice. Her being a prostitute and affiliations with the Russian Mafia contrasts with Sonia's innocent glare and heroics. And it kind of reminds me of a story of Hercules, where he was told to decide between two women, two women similar to those in Notes from the New World. And these women were representative of a virtuous path, and a vicious one. And in the end, Hercules picks virtue. And to find out who Stephen picks, we'll click the link in the description and sign for our free newsletter. And the same goes for girls, where they may have the choice between the vicious lad and the virtuous gentleman. Such is the universality of love. And I'm curious if you've ever faced this crossroads in love, where you have virtue on one side and viciousness on the other. If you have, comment below and we can talk about it. I was actually once speaking to a girl that I thought personified virtue. Of course she didn't, and well, it just didn't work anyway. Like two puzzle pieces, each remembering the other as having the overlapping edge. Now in Notes from the New World, Stephen is able to accommodate for both ladies. He obliges the corruption of Irina when she needs help dumping a body, but so too does he Sonia, as he remains loyal to his principled inclination. Indeed, going back to the Dostoevsky quote, Love is a holy mystery and not to be hidden from all other eyes, whatever happens. Are we even tempted to say one's better than the other? That Sonia always beats Irina? One cannot be without the other, so perhaps a hybridity of the both of them is needed. Check out our free member pages by clicking on the link in the description below, as well as our other sites, and, you know, tell me if you think he makes the right choice. You know, is Irina or Sonia the best choice for Stephen and why? So like, comment and share. I'll be coming out with a new episode next week, so comment if you'd like it on something particular. And for today's arbitrary Dostoevsky quote, I think that the devil does not exist. That man has created him in his own image and in his own likeness. Thanks for tuning in. See you soon.